what you're paying for. See if up to means Eric the actor. Yeah, second anniversary of Eric's death. Like I said, up on HowardStern.com, we got a little quiz if you want to remember Eric. See how well you knew Eric. Uh, I, In my estimation, you know, you could say number one and two between him and Beetlejuice. Probably the greatest whack packer of all time, and I'll, and I'll, I'll give you proof why. Here's, here's six reasons why I think Eric was the greatest whack packer. All right. First of all, You've all heard the clip, you know, I'm club fucking footed, you ass wife. <laughs> but uh, Eric had this... Uh, I fucking retarded. Yeah. I, I, Eric had this Danlo syndrome. And I uh, one time I said to him, hey, Eric, what's the deal on your foot? Because every time I see you, like you have these little sneakers on and your foot is turned completely backwards. And that made him crazy. <laughs> By the way, I saw a picture of Eric. His foot is completely <laughs> turned around. I don't it's know backwards? If... Yeah, his foot, his, he has sneakers on and his foot is completely reversed. Wow. And he's got so many problems. Eric, what's going on with your foot? Are you okay with your foot? I'm double fucking jointed. There's nothing. No, there ain't no double. With your foot. Double jointed. Eric, Eric. That's quadruple jointed. Part of my disability, Jack. Eric, Eric. Well, All right, but that's what I'm asking. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It's been that way. All right, I was worried about Eric, you. Eric, Eric. Am I wrong to be worried about you? I'm club fucking footed, you ass wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what you were. I said there might be something wrong. <laughs> why did he think that you knew all about him? But I, I, I ne this is why he was so brilliant. I mean, I'd go, hey, there's something wrong with your foot, and it's turned around backwards. He goes, there's nothing wrong with my foot. I'm double jointed, which was clearly like a lie. Well, maybe he didn't want to focus yeah, on I it know, or something, but I guess. I'm trying to figure this all out it, it, now. It, it was so great. If he was here, we'd be just as confused. <laughs> uh, the, the second reason I think Eric the actor was among... Uh, you know, again, I'm not going to argue whether it's Beetlejuice or Eric, but they're both unbelievable. I mean, it was so easy to set Eric off. Fred played 0.0 .0 because whenever Eric was on the phone... Eric had sold zero tickets to some appearance he was uh, <laughs> promoting, and he was promoting it pretty heavy every chance he got. So all Fred had to do is play 0 0.0. 0.0. 0. And that would set Eric off. I'm not giving that shithead credit for shit. Well, Even if he deserves it, is what I you're I think saying. you're making a mistake. I don't think that's fair to Steve. Him covering the story helped you. Really? I hate Blankford. I want you to fire his dumb <laughs> shitty ass. Why? Because he has a huge penis? Right. Well, why do you so, hate Steve? I he mean, helped you. He's helping you. Zero point. <laughs> Are you saying zero. you don't want any help? Fred, you push that button one more time. I'm going to find you. You don't get... Fred, come here. Fred, come here. What? Zero <laughs> point <laughs> zero. I'll meet you at JFK. <laughs> what did he even say there? We, he just went off and he couldn't even understand. That might be a good sound bite too, that little moment where he goes <laughs> off like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Zero point zero. My third reason Eric might have been the greatest whack packer of all time. And I've I've talked to Jimmy Kimmel about this, who's a big fan, and he always said Eric was the greatest whack packer, but you know, I, he loved Eric. Well, anyway, third greatest reason for me. Eric gets this role in Mary McCormick's show, In Plain Sight, that was on TV. Anyway, long story short, they're shooting in Arizona. And Eric was really afraid that there'd be wolver werewolves. No, in New Mexico, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was in New Mexico. And they wrote it in as a condition in his rider. He had Johnny Frado have to ride in on a, 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 with these people. Now, mind you, this was a role that maybe had four lines, if that. And Eric was carrying on because he was convinced there were werewolves there. Eric does not want any contact with some of the dangerous wildlife that inhabit that region, uh, including black bears, mountain lions, coyotes, bobcats, spiders, werewolves, or any venomous snake. <laughs> let, let, me, let me alter that okay. one. You want to take I, out werewolves? I, I, well, don't, don't actually send me Wikipedia, and there actually are legitimately werewolves in Albuquerque. What? <laughs> what? All right, listen it, to me, Eric. I can't... Wikipedia, 
But, oh, um, stop it. Eric, it's a four-line part. Listen to me. I can't imagine that they're, they're putting their stars in danger with werewolves and, and, and coyotes. That's so great. He really wanted that in his rider. Okay, fourth reason for me. Am I up to number four? I think yes. so. Who knows? Um, I got to mention that um, this, this is the greatest moment for me. So Eric, the actor's manager, quote-unquote, was Johnny Frado. Rest in peace. Johnny's gone, too.